it's your girl, Nessa K, and I am coming in today with a recipe on chicken croquettes. And if you guys want to see the items that I use to make chicken croquettes, just keep watching. Okay, the first thing you must have is some chicken, onion, Italian uh, breadcrumbs, cup of flour, two cups of milk. And then the season I will be using is uh, salt and pepper, chicken uh, seasoning to season my um uh, chicken with, with our seasoning salt in there and then also i have like a pinch of parsley seasoning and then also i got two tablespoons of butter so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get my meat ready and then i'll be back i am using some chicken tender but uh you still want to get the uh let me show you what i'm talking about you still want to cut all this little white part and and cut that little white piece off. You see that my chicken tenders has pre-cooked. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add them into my blender. Now I add it into my uh, little small blender here. So, you want to make sure you get them. You want to make sure you get good and grind it like, like mixed type. Okay, so I'm going to So now I'm just going to pour it into this bowl here. Now we're going to get ready to, to make our roux to uh, start the process of making the uh, chicken croquettes. Okay, first you want to add your butter. You want to get that good and melt it. And then, you know, once that melts, then I'm going to continue to add all my ingredients. Now it's time for me to add my onions. So I'm going to let this onion uh, saute. Now that my onion has sa sa sauteed, now I'm going to add my flour. This is what you call a roux. And this is the first time that I'm making chicken croquettes. Now I this is start getting ready once you start seeing like a lot of lumps in it. Once all the flour form in two lumps, then you know this here part is just about done. And then you want to add your milk. I am going to uh, add my milk. Oops, I waste a little bit of it. You just want to add a little bit of it at a time. And the first time that I make, I'm making this, so I'm going to be as careful as I can. But you want to keep mashing it down until you get all the lumps out of it. It's just like you're making a gravy. Once you get all the lumps out of it, and then that's when you add your other ingredients. So I'm going to keep on stirring this here until I get all my lumps out of it. And where you see there that there are dry spots in here, then that's when you add some more uh, milk to it. Yeah, I see this is a process. <laughs> okay, so I think I got all the lumps out of it. I'm going to let it uh, get a little bit more thicker. And then I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. Now that it has gotten thicker, see, it's done changed. So now I'm going to add some salt and pepper. That was my parsley that I just added. I'm going to add my chicken. I'm going to blend all this in together. Okay, now that I add my meat and letting all this uh, heat and blend together, see how it done form now? And that's what you want. You want to get it good and thick like that. So yeah, once it start uh, forming like this here and just start sticking together, and then you're just about done with this part. Okay? Now I am going to place my uh, chicken roux into this aluminum pan. And then I'm going to let it sit in the refrigerator for about two hours. And then I place it into my pan to let it sit for two hours. And now that my uh, roux has uh, sit for two hours. So what, what I'm going to do now, 
I'm going to make up me some little balls and just place them on this here uh, thing here. But you just want to get them. Uh, I don't have a dipper, so I'm just going to use this spoon here and just give it a little twirl and try to make me like a little ball like that. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to roll it around like this. You want to shape it in the form of a hush puppy like that. And then you place it there and you just continue to uh, make your little ball. So what I'm going to do is just turn my spoon around because I don't have a dipper. And and just continue to make these balls. Like so I'm going to make one more. So what I'm going to do is just swirl it around like that. To make me a ball and then I'm gonna do this roll it around okay so this is how you make this so I'm gonna continue to finish this and I'll be back I got that done okay so ne the next step is that we could get ready to bread them now I am about to batter my chicken quartet so I'm going to go ahead and batter and then I'm just going to lay them on top of this here until my grease finish um, heating up. So you want to get it good and floured like that. And then you want to put it in the egg. You want to make sure you get the whole ball soaked. And then you want to put it into your breadcrumbs. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in there. And so then pick it up and then just sprinkle some breadcrumbs around it. Make okay, so I'm gonna finish this one up and I'll be back. Guys, now I'm going to start placing them inside of the uh, hot plate, which I had one in there already because I wanted to make sure that my grease was hot enough. So my electric skillet is big enough for me to place them all in there. And you want to get a, you want to put enough grease in there just to cover the brown one side, and then you can turn it over and brown the other one. You want them to get golden brown. So yeah, see how they look now? So now I'm just gonna put them on this here plate on some paper towels so that they can drain. These here are chicken croquettes. Okay, now I am done and this is how they turn out like that. This is the chicken croquettes. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let them cool for a minute and then I will do a taste test on them. So let's try one. Ooh, you can cut it real easy. Really, really easy. So I have me some mustard, some ketchup, and some hot sauce. So, and this is how it look in the inside, like that. You cut it. Mmm, it smells really, really good. So I think I'm going to try it with some hot sauce first. It puts you in the mind just like of the Jack Mackles. This here is really, really doggone good. And I can taste the onion. I can taste everything in it. And that Italian uh, breadcrumb really giving this a good taste. Mm -hmm. I think I like it with the hot sauce. Mm-hmm. 
It's pretty doggone good. Oh my God. And they look so good in the inside. So yeah, you guys, this is my recipe on the chicken croquettes. I'm just like, look, I'm cutting the onion and the onion just definitely give it a good, 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 good taste. So yeah, I done ate one, so I'm on my, working on my second one. And this here is like really, really good. And if you try these chicken uh, croquettes, uh, uh, let me know in the, uh, when you make them. And let me know how yours uh, turned out. Mm-hmm. If you like Jack Mackerel, you definitely would like these here. And I love the crust to it. Oh my God. It's really, really good. I ain't gonna even try it with the mustard and ketchup. Cause when I ate the Jack Mackerels, I ate it with hot sauce too. It would really be good with some rice. Cause this here is like really, 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 really delicious. In the crust, oh my God. Mm-hmm. I really like that. It's really good. So yeah, if you try this, please let me know. And if you got so much for tuning in and checking out this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So bye, everybody.